Everyone was uh, wondering, you know, what's going on? What happened to her? Why is she here? Where'd she come from? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unsolved Jane Doe's. Today, the 37th anniversary of that grisly discovery, and police have crucial details. The young woman had extensive dental work including crowns, caps, and fillings. For nearly 30 years, the identity behind this woman has remained a mystery. For this list, we're looking at various unsolved death cases in which the deceased has not been identified. Number 10, The Female Stranger. Jane Doe's have been a tragic trend for centuries. Even our great, 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 great ancestors were pondering the identities of Jane Doe's, as illustrated by the grave of the female stranger. Found in Virginia's St. Paul's Cemetery, this grave memorializes an unidentified woman who died in 1816. The grave became popular owing to its headstone, which recounts the mysterious tale of her death, including a, quote, disconsolate husband who held his wife as she died. Speculation regarding her identity began almost immediately, with a poem appearing in the Alexandria Gazette in 1833. Some speculate that the grave belongs to Aaron Burr's daughter, Theodosia Burr Alston, but conflicting dates make this unlikely. Number 9. Sahara Sioux On August 14, 1979, the body of a young woman was found at the intersection of Sahara and Las Vegas Boulevard, just outside the city's Sahara Hotel. The location has resulted in her informal nickname, Sahara Sioux. Distinguishing this Jane Doe is her curious lack of teeth. She wore dentures, despite being between 15 and 30 years old. Later, forensic palynology revealed that Sahara Sue was likely named Shauna, that she had ties to a trailer park in the Napa Valley area, and that she may have been employed at the Holiday Inn on Las Vegas Boulevard. They are clues keeping a case alive. Still, despite modern facial reconstructions, she remains unidentified. Number 8. Miss X Found on the side of the road in Bear, Delaware, Miss X was a young woman whose legs were encased in a white laundry bag. Said bag was traced to a location in New Jersey, but the lead went cold before answers could be given. Miss X was three months pregnant at the time of her death, leading investigators to believe that she had died from a failed attempt to end the pregnancy. However, later examination proved that she had died from sepsis resulting from an unknown infection. It's believed that Miss X died at a separate location and was later dumped at the side of the road. The perpetrators, however, were never identified, and neither was Miss X. Number 7. Penny Doe This Jane Doe received her unique nickname from the two pennies that were found in the pockets of her pants. Found in Monroe Township, Pennsylvania, this unidentified female is estimated to have been between 15 and 22 years of age. She was found under a trestle bridge with a broken leg and massive blunt force trauma to the head, and authorities have concluded that this was the cause of death. Unfortunately, not much else is known about the young woman. A significant lead appeared in 2003 when an anonymous stranger contacted authorities in regards to Penny Doe, but the letter could not be traced, and the author never wrote back, despite numerous pleas from the police. Number 6. Little Miss Panasofsky In February of 1971, two teenagers were walking in Lake Panasofsky, Florida, when they discovered the body of a woman floating under an overpass with a man's belt wrapped around her. Investigators were unable to find the killer or determine the woman's identity. Tragically, no one ever came forward to claim her body. Forensic examination discovered that the woman had been dead for 30 days, and a broken rib suggests that someone had forcefully knelt on her during the act. Six months passed. The young woman was laid to rest beneath a small metal marker which simply read, Jane Doe, 1971. Further examination of the victim's teeth in the 80s showed that she had lived most of her life in Greece. A facial reconstruction was made, and a Greek woman came forth claiming that the Jane Doe was named Constantina and that she was visiting America as part of a work contract. However, this has never been officially confirmed. Still the identity of Little Miss Panasofsky remains a mystery. Number 5. The Murray County Jane Doe In February of 1975, the decomposed remains of a woman were found beside a highway in Murray County, Tennessee. The woman was young, estimated to be between 15 and 25, and she had likely been dead up to nine months before the discovery of her body. Unhealed fractures in the victim's ribs and pelvis have led to the theory that she was involved in a fatal car accident, either being accidentally hit or intentionally run over while walking on the side of the road. 
The body of a young dog was also found near the victim's remains. It's unclear, however, if the two have any connection. Number 4. The Wayne Fitzgerald State Park Jane Doe This is certainly one of the creepiest Jane Doe cases in American history. In January of 1993, the head of a woman was found hanging in the brush of Illinois' Wayne Fitzgerald State Park. It's believed that the head had been thrown from a passing vehicle, although this vehicle was not observed, and neither it nor the woman have ever been identified. Unfortunately, the lack of other body parts has made identifying this woman difficult. Further study revealed that she had suffered from Rye Neck Syndrome, which results in an abnormal neck position, but that is certainly not much information to go on. Number 3. The El Dorado Jane Doe I had fingerprints and photographs and DNA, and I'm like, why can we not identify this girl? This Jane Doe ostensibly went by multiple aliases throughout her life, lived in numerous states, and had an extensive arrest record. On July 10, 1991, the woman met her ex-boyfriend, James McAlphin, at a motel in El Dorado, Arkansas. A witness reported seeing McAlphin hit the woman and heard a gunshot following a vicious argument. McAlphin was arrested, but refused to cooperate. Cards on the body ID'd the woman as Cheryl Ann Wick, but this was an identity she had apparently stolen from a woman in Minneapolis. She was arrested here for hot checks under a fake name. Uh, she went to the hospital and got medical treatment under a fake name. McAlphin refused to fully cooperate with identifying the Jane Doe, so her true identity remains a mystery. Number 2. Bella in the Witch Elm In 1944, a piece of graffiti asking who put Bella in the Witch Elm was found on a wall on Upper Dean Street, Birmingham, England. This was a reference to a skeleton that was discovered inside a Witch Elm on the Hagley Estate near Witchbury Hill. The skull was the first thing discovered, but authorities soon uncovered a shoe, wedding ring, and clothing. As well, the remains of a hand were found nearby. Upon examination of the skull, forensic analysts discovered some fabric in the mouth, indicating suffocation. But despite the graffiti identifying the skeleton as Bella, she remains unidentified. Numerous theories have been put forth, like the woman being the victim of an occult ritual, but nothing is certain. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Lady of the Dunes This is another horrific case that has captivated sleuths for decades. On July 26, 1974, a child discovered the body of the Lady of the Dunes lying face down in the Race Point Dunes of Provincetown, Massachusetts. The body was nearly decapitated. No one has ever come forward to claim her. No one has ever said, she was my daughter, uh, she was my ex-wife. It's also been theorized that the killer removed her hands and teeth to prevent identification. Despite numerous exhumations and leads, the body remains unidentified. Serial killer Haddon Clark has confessed to the murder, but authorities claim he's unreliable. A woman resembling the deceased was also seen with crime boss Whitey Bulger, who was known for removing his victim's teeth. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.